advised Kilo 33 and Kilo 34, your current LZ is too hot. Roger that. Dot, stand by to receive and respond. Yes, Commander. Coordinates received. Initiate immediate course correction. The Office of Naval Intelligence Sword Base is presently under siege from a Corvette class government vessel. Due to the sensitive nature of this facility, use of orbital rounds has been, for the moment, prohibited. Regrettably, my efforts to obtain relevant data on enemy forces have been unsuccessful. However, current defensive forces are insufficient. Oni has requested Team Noble's direct intervention to help secure Sword Base. All right, people. We're stuck with that ship for the time being. Let's focus on the hostile infantry. Give those troopers a hand. Cat 6, you're out here. George Emil, you're next. Get prepped. Let's move, Lieutenant. Welcome back, everybody. It's time for episode two of some Halo Reach. I'm going to show you actually a little secret and trick here I used to use all the time when I was working on um, accommodations. Um, and, of course, uh, the challenges. This kind of sprint right past here. Uh, you can do this in hot, harder levels, but uh, you have to be really on the spot with your movement you can go all the way down to here and now this is a trick I used to use all the time for accommodations all right wait for the um, checkpoint reached here thing to happen there we go checkpoint done and now give these covenant a second to build up put my little uh, target finder down. Look at all those kills. All right, hit stop. And then revert to last save. Are you sure? Yep. Then keep doing this. All these kills count uh, for accommodations and everything else. You can do this as often as you want. You can, uh, as long as you don't um, finish them off and end the mission here. I said you can just keep doing this. This saved me so much time on a lot of combinations. It's just one little trick. Like killing elites or killing how many jackals, etc., etc. This is definitely worth the time to know um, to get those points and scores. But since uh, we are playing a Let's Play, I'm going to hope you enjoyed that little trick and use it in any future gameplays that you might have well let's go ahead and get moving here so we can get this gameplay moving kill me some elites and grunts there we go now that's just such a useful trick I'm, I'm telling you um, it saved me so much time doing them challenges, which I love challenges. Challenges were the best uh, in Halo Reach. Halo 4 challenges were rather insignificant. Let's see if we can't get both of them. Ooh, I might get both of them. Nope, just the one. Oh, I did. I did get them both. There we go. See? See? Getting that stuff done. Ah, the suicidal grunts. I just wish they still talked in English. I think 343 is going to do that in Halo 4. I'm sorry, in Halo 5. They're going to make English-speaking um, enemies again, which is great. Let's get in here, Cat. Do not. I repeat, do not let Cat drive. She is so bad as I'm flipping the vehicle over. <laughs> she has killed more Spartans uh, than any other uh, AI Spartan, I think, ever. Uh, she just drives them off cliffs. She runs them over. She does all sorts of odd things when she's driving. I think uh, for Spartan count-wise, she'd probably be like multiplayer. She'd be top player. 
how many people she's killed. <laughs> See right there, blasting and relaxing. I love challenges. I love that little pop-up. It's like, yeah, I'm doing something. And even better, they had custom challenges. You could make your own challenges, send it out to your friends, and they could either compete in them or accept them and compete them, try and do the same thing, and go for score, uh, time, whatever, and just see who came out on top. That would also just be incredible to thing to do in uh, Halo 5. Cause, like I said, I love doing the challenges. It brought you into the campaign. It brought you into firefight, uh, into all sorts of different ways of doing the game. I, I think I remember one is like you had to get like 40 headshots with a pistol or something. Um, ooh, that concussion rifle. Well, I got two rounds yet with that. Let's see if I can't put them to use here. Turn on my turret. And, oh, cat, you're going to eat it. You're going to eat it, cat. That's what you get. Oh, 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 bleeds came up behind me. Take these guys out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm missing one. I'm missing one somewhere. Oh, he must be in down here. Oh. <laughs> Cat's a tough old girl. Look at that. There you go. Sit down, Grunt. Nice there you work, go. Spartans. Head to Farragut Station and get that comms array up and running. Spartans, this is sword control. Thought you could use some mobile firepower. I I think I killed my Marine. Take that hug. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. <laughs> All right. Well, at least they give us another warthog here. And another marine. Cat, you coming? You coming? No. Ah, she can run. Now, one of the fastest uh, Spartans ever was Kelly. She, uh, I don't think anybody's topped her in speed. Uh, one of the lore things she used to do, uh, she would test her speed all the time because she was actually very proud of her speed. Um, she would just do little self-tests uh, as to how to keep her skills up to par because she wanted to be the fastest because it was definitely a useful skill in so many different things. So the Master Chief is a incredible Spartan for sure, but he wasn't necessarily the best at all certain things. Um, Linda was easily a far better sniper. Uh, he was, uh, Kelly was easily faster. I think Fred, I don't know uh, if he had any personal traits of, of that nature, but he was definitely, I think, a more human uh, character. Um, him and uh, Kurt. Kurt was definitely the most human Spartan uh, around. Yeah, as I get lost here, as I check out the view, but yeah, he was uh, Kurt uh, was the one that trained um, the Spartan threes. Like I said uh, in the last video, is that the Spartan threes? I have so much respect for them because they were essentially sent on suicide missions. Holy smokes, that almost got me. Uh, they were sent on suicide missions, uh, missions that they wouldn't even send um, Spartan 2s on because it was just so dangerous. They, they were essentially just a, a suicide squad, and they got the job done, and which was really sad because they were uh, 12, 13 years old when they went on these missions where there was little to no chance of returning home. Looks like cat's driving or something. That's just, yeah, just don't get in there. But yeah, there was just so little chance of them actually returning home. Out of all the missions, um, only like a couple uh, actually ever did return. Uh, the Ghost of Onyx, there was a small crew, which I actually want to know what happened to them. 
Um, did I get him or did I not? I did. I did get him. Ah, choices, choices. Sniper rifle or DMR. What do I choose? Well, uh, DMR is almost empty, so let's go ahead and see what I can't get over here. Oop, oop. There, there he is. There's the skirmishers. They're the jackal's cousin. There. The jackals, or in my opinion, the Kig Yar, are just easily, easily the most annoying uh, enemy out there. Because they got the shields, and it's almost impossible to get through their shields sometimes, especially in Halo CE. The, the only way I really got through them was just like, I ain't going to mess with shooting them in that little crack that they have uh, in their shields. I'm just going to throw a nade. It's just that much easier just to do it that way. Oh. Have a seat, son. Have a seat. Oh. There you go. There you go. You too. Let's grab that. And the health packs. A little trick and hint uh, you guys may not know. But if your shields are down, I mean all the way down... If you grab a health pack, it automatically restarts your shields uh, recharging. It's very, 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 very useful in uh, multiplayer. If you still play Halo Reach multiplayer, that is. Uh, we got our comm system back up online. Let's get a another vehicle. I think this is a Gauss Hog. I think we dropped a Gauss Hog here. Yep, good old Gauss Hog. Another really great thing for Halo Reach, if you want to play and learn how to drive a Warthog, drive Halo Reach's Warthog. Sorry for the little glitch there. My computer started acting goofy. Um, so I had to restart uh, recording. As I was saying, if you wanted to learn how to drive a Warthog, I mean, drive it well, get on Halo Reach. Play that version of the Warthog because it is the squirreliest Warthog of all of them. It's so incredibly difficult to keep the four wheels on the ground. A little Revenant there, which is another great vehicle. I think he just got shot by his own team. Worked out plan. I planned it that way, of course. Serio, get these Revenants. I love the Revenant. It was kind of like a mix between a Wraith and a ghost it had some really decent speed but um it's uh shot wasn't near as powerful definitely a good vehicle to have in here all right here we go i still got i got two rounds but i don't know how i got two rounds yet we're coming we're coming hold on hold on Now, there is a way, and I'm not just going to mess with it right now. There is a way to get your Warthog up here. But, I don't think I need it. But I need some rounds. I need some ammo. There should be something back here. I believe there's some shotguns or something. Nope, nope, nope. No shotguns. Here we go. That's what I want. I want a DMR. Assault rifle. A little trick on with the assault rifle as well on um, uh, Halo Reach, especially in multiplayer. If you feather your shots, meaning you don't just hold it open um, for the entire time, if you feather your shots, uh, it reduces that bloom and you're not near as. Um, you're much more likely to finish off an opponent. Where did that guy go? I got one more round. I got to use it. There he is. There he is. Oh, yeah. He's done. He's done. Here it comes. Ah, oh, poor elite. Poor elite. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. That's why I wanted to play this on normal because I can have a little bit more fun. You know, legendary. You're just gonna be watching me die a lot. <laughs> uh, don't want to do it again here. Let's see. There you go. Got something for you to sit on. A little present. A little present. Any more? Oh yes. Like I said. Like I said, normal is easier, and you can do it fairly well, or fairly well, but it does punish you for being stupid, which I was. Come on. So let's go ahead and finish this up right this time. This cat, you should be able to take him out. You're like invincible. You go stuck him on his butt. Woo! Come on, give me my shields back. There we go. There you go. Have a seat. Have a seat, son. This this has to be. They have to bring this stuff back. This little uh, forklift and stuff like this. They need to put that in Halo 5. I mean, it's stupid, but you know what? It's it's fun. Um, just, just like, yeah, we're going to have forklift races. You know, whatever. That teacher just put that in Forge and call it a good day. I mean, seriously, you sit here and have forklift races or do whatever you want to do with them things. Are we are we going to go? or, or oh, I thought I hit the button. There's Cat. Hey, Cat. Something you want to... Yeah. Yeah, not, nothing at all. Nothing. Nothing. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just that's just silly. All right. Let's go ahead and take care of some grunts. I really like this. This little area right here is just like felt like you were entering some place that was uh, that actually was because. Uh, secret and whatnot because you had this scan thing that you went through which I failed obviously I got a shotgun and DMR I'm pretty sure I'm armed There's some maids presents for everybody there you go have some come on come on killed me an elite uh, sword base. Uh, one of the few maps that it played really well uh, for the most part. Grab me a health pack here. On um, multiplayer, um, wasn't my favorite though. It was definitely wasn't my favorite map to play. Mostly because uh, it's it's just picked all the time, and I just got tired of it. I like variety. Uh, large, large amount of variety in my multiplayer action, which is why I love Forge maps so much. They offered so much variety, and I've been trying. I, I keep going on to the forums every now and then. Let's see if I can't stick him. Oh, he bunks off him or something. There you go. Which is why I've always been trying for them uh, to encourage 343 to make a uh, Forge playlist every now and then. Even if it's like just for a weekend or uh, for a week. They just go online and play a bunch of Forge maps and enjoy them. Some of my favorite maps of all time were Forge maps. I love that in Halo 3. Was they would make a, a playlist that had nothing but Forge maps. It had like 30 or so maps. Look at that. 150. Had about 30, 30 or so maps. And they would change up a little bit now and then, which was awesome. Um, just go in there and just play those and just have a good time. This is the Zealot class elite. Turn on my lights here. Oh, I'm gonna grab. Uh, I'd probably do better with this. 
Says, I think there's some jackals, yep. Let's see, there's a meal up there who is kind of a... a uh, somebody you, you love to hate, but you, you definitely want him on your team. See if we can't destroy that thing. Here we go. There are a bunch of invisible elites up here as well. There's one, I think. There's plenty of ammo if you go over here. And let's start taking out these banshees. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like I said, ah. Invisible elites. That was my. I shouldn't have fired, but I did. I, I would have been fine. Ah. Uh. Like I said, you get punished for being stupid, and that's what I did. I was stupid, and there it is. Now you get to see this yet again. Like I said, this is live gameplay. I'm not editing it in whatsoever, because I just wanted it to be like this. And, yeah, there you go. The uh, missiles in Halo Reach were so cool, actually. Um, they had a tendency to follow vehicles for quite a while. Come on, Elite. I know you're there this time. Now uh, you said that I'm backing up, which I'm stuck on the wall. I did it again. I did it again. I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> he rushed me, and I knew he was there. I have to take him out, so I'm not dealing with him. Uh, you get to see this one more time. I, I am so sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know it's crazy. Hopefully you're not. <laughs> hopefully you're not saying uh, I'm done watching this. He's an idiot. Um, but you know what? That's okay. I'm not expecting huge, huge amounts of um, viewers on this. I think I got him that time. I hope I got him. Um, but you know what? Like I said, I want to do this just for fun. I was having a good time with Halo Reach. I had a, an incredible good time with Halo Reach. Um, I just certain things just like Halo 4 it's just certain things that just didn't work well and unfortunately uh, what happened in Halo Reach passed on to Halo 4 a little bit hopefully that's not going to be the case in Halo 5 and from what I've played so far it's definitely not so looks like we're just ending the cutscene right here thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed yet another episode of Halo Reach Beautiful, ain't it? Someone should take a picture. Nice work, by the way. I aim to please. Five, six, get down to the science wing. Dr. Halsey wants a debrief and command saying we're all hers. Repeat. Sounded like you said Halsey. I did. Copy that on our way. Don't need command to tell me. Been all hers half my life. I requested your assistance, Commander, and do not need a report on events that occur on my own doorstep. What I do require is a detailed account of your previous engagement. George, it's been too long. Mom. What have you done with my armor? Just some additions I've made. Indeed. Visegrad relay. Its data center was home to one of my Xeno-archaeologists, Professor Laszlo Sorvad. Perhaps you could shed some light on his death. If he was a civilian male in his mid-60s, 
He died with a Covenant energy sword through his abdomen. Elites, then? They engaged us as well. It was just, uh, just after we found your scientist's daughter, Mom. She was hiding in the Irrelevant. air. Irrelevant. The elites. Tell me more about them. Three. Zealot class. One got bias. The leader, from the looks of him. Zealots. You're certain? Their armor configuration matched. Shield strength, too. I gave the order not to pursue. Our primary objective was to get the station's relay back online. Your primary objective? Commander, are you a puppet or a Spartan? Ma'am? There are those at Oni, myself included, who believe the Covenant dispatch elite advanced teams to hunt down artifacts of value to their religion. Survivor accounts suggests such teams are small, nimble, and almost always zealot class. No doubt they came to the station for the abundance of Oni excavation data stored there. And you let them get away. Data retrieval was not a command directive. Even had we known, we had other more urgent matters to attend to. Like warning the planet. Professor Sorvad's final entry in his field notes made reference to a latchkey discovery. Latchkey. Not a word he would use lightly. So let's hope that the data module your lieutenant commander stole contains it. Cat? Before you ask, I was alerted the moment you attempted to access its contents, as I am with any unauthorized tap. That data is classified Tier 1. I could send you to the brig for interfering with my work. Maybe you'd like to join her. I'm sorry? We're currently under emergency planetary directive. Winter contingency? I'm sure you're familiar with the punishment for civilian interference with the Spartan deployment. Are you threatening me, Commander? Just making a reading suggestion, ma'am. Let's move, noble team. Mom? That will be all, George.